Well, we followed the investigative work of uh, journalist Ruth Hopkins uh, when she uncovered the human rights violations in the Mangaloon prison in South Africa. And when we found out um, that there was hardly any accountability for the violations committed by the um, multinational security, multinational G4S, um, we decided to team up with Ruth and follow her ongoing investigation to see how we could um, show this story to uh, an even broader audience because um, documentary films have a different audience than, for example, short news items. Uh, they can disappear in the bulk of news of, of, the, of the day, of the week. So that's why we decided to make this film because it's really a important topic to, uh, to talk about. So the documentary premiered at ITVA 2019. So since then we have, you know, the, the release just started of the documentary. Uh, but what we did, we, um, we showed the film to um, um, a group of lawyers that have been in court trying to get a report uh, that the South African government was supposed to um, uncover uh, after the human rights violations in the prison. Um, this never happened. So the lawyers have been in court for five and a half years. They've also seen our film. And only three weeks ago, we got the news, they got the news that uh, the report is now, um, the, the judge ordered uh, that this report had to be released by the government and they did. And actually what's in the re re report is uh, backing up the, um, the violations that we also uh, show in our documentary. So I think this is the first step uh, we will have an impact campaign going to roll it out in South Africa, um, but we're also working in the Netherlands and in other European countries. But because this is still the beginning, I think still a lot has to be happening. Um, so that's what we're working on. So while we're making this documentary in South Africa about this privatized prison, we also slowly on did more and more research about privatization in the global sense. And we all know about like privatized prisons in the USA, but you also have them in Australia and even closer by in England. So a lot of prisons are run the same way as in the film by this multinational G4S, for example. But also in the Netherlands, we found out that we have semi-privatized prisons, one in Sandstad, it's like a really big new prison, um, but also detention centers in Rotterdam and uh, Schiphol that are semi-privatized. And then like doing more research, like in the Netherlands, so many governmental care tasks are privatized over the years, like healthcare, education, daycare, um, but also slowly on police and all that type of uh, services. And like a lot of studies over the years have also proven that a lot of times the quality goes down and, um, and it costs us, um, the public, more, uh, more money. Um, so we really have to ask the question like, uh, what are the consequences for society? I think if you uh, look at the current situation with the coronavirus, uh, you see that we as a society need all these basic state services like care tasks even more uh, than ever before. Um, and at the same time, for example, healthcare it has been cut big time by our governments um, and or they are completely privatized or partly privatized. Um, and this will have a lot of consequences and we will feel that right now. And I hope that after this crisis, um, we will give dignity back also to these services and roll back privatization because all state services um, should be back in the hands of the government and not in the hands of multinationals where money and profit is more important than the well-being of people. And I think that is what, you, what this documentary will show um, so I think it's, it's, an, it's an important film in these times. <laughs>